I encourage everybody to get on YouTube and here's why. Um, we are in a place where we have subscribed and followed people who we deem relatable to us, or we see ourselves in them and their life, or we aspire to live like them or live their life. But here's the thing, um, in the midst of doing that, with no matter how good the intentions are, at times we've slowly minimized our voice and given their voice more power. So bravery has become few and far between and we started to let others speak for us. I think that everyone should start a YouTube just off the premise that we all need our own voice. That is like the, the crux and core of my argument. And I learned that when I started a YouTube, I am someone who works in sales and business development and marketing. I've always been behind the scenes and I love being behind the scenes. I love creating for people who like to be front and center. I love taking products and putting them in a marketplace where it gains a consumer base and a customer base and people buy it. I love the whole go to market strategy thing. I love product marketing. I love developing business. I love prospecting and finding clients and then getting rejected a thousand times and then them actually taking a meeting with me and then winning their business. So I love that whole hustle and grind of behind the scenes before everybody else sees the front and center, right? So when the company brags about the new logo that we won or the new business we have and they put it in a press release, somebody like me <laughs> has won that business. Or when the when the 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 influencer or the product is pushed and it has a thousand, two thousand, three, four thousand likes, whatever, millions of followers, somebody like me is usually usually behind the scenes working on that. And I say all that to say I really like being behind the scenes. But being behind the scenes and working in marketing has taught me that we have all diminished our inner voice, our outer voice, and we've given power more to everybody else. We follow this person. We subscribe to this channel and we've lost a sense of our voice. So here's the thing. I think this is what people fear the most. They fear having very few viewers, very few views, very few likes. And I think that's OK. I think that's part of the journey of being brave and taking that step out to start a YouTube channel because I have I have an idea that one day YouTube will very much mimic our, our life. I think that everybody should have a YouTube channel and it will be just like your phone. Most of us, our phone is pretty boring. If you look at your text messages, it's probably the same people. If you look at your phone calls, it's probably the same people. And so if you have, like me, thousand, I don't know why I have thousands, but I am I am older. <laughs> I've lived in two states and I was a party animal in college. So yeah, I got like a thousand contacts, really maybe a hundred people that I actually know, but maybe 10 that I talk to weekly, monthly, maybe 20, I get to in a year. That's how many views I should have at most, right? That, that makes my life. <laughs> if, if it's one view or eight views, that should be fine too. If it's no views, that should be fine. Cause there's actually days and multiple days sometimes where it, I used to geek out on not talking to people. Oh man, when I used to work remotely and I could work and then get back into my my hive of sitting on the couch playing video games or watching movies and then maybe go to the gym and come home or go to the grocery store, Trader Joe's or whatever, come home. I could go like two or three days without talking to people. Like just, of course I would see people because we're in passing and in public and stuff, but I could legit go <laughs> two or three days just sending emails at work, uh, not in my head going into the gym, self checkout at the grocery store, uh, you know, door dashing food. I could go two or three days with that. So the audacity of somebody like me to not post a video because I'd be scared of it looking like my real life. <laughs> that's funny, right? And I think that's where most people are, though. We feel like that would be embarrassing. And it's not embarrassing. I think it's brave. And I think that we all should actually take that action and become more brave because it is called YouTube. And since I've gotten on YouTube, I can actually say that I've uncovered, discovered, and become fan of far more regular, um, and that's, such, that's not the right word, far more people who are just living life and not trying to create an alter ego or or present something beyond themselves, if, if that makes sense. Like they don't have a family channel or a prank channel, or they're not a thought leader in anything. They're literally just journaling their day to day. It's some of them are more creative than others, but it's just really a lot of people living life. And I think that's what's great. I think it's even cooler to connect on that level with people who have 100 followers, 50 followers, 15, 1,000 followers, and see them have 30 views or 1,000 views on one video because it caught traction within 20 on the rest. All that is great. And I think that's why everybody should start a YouTube channel. Also, if you work a nine to five, you're just slowly losing 
your identity every day that you go into the office, right? You get up early, you drive into the office, you put on a face um, in the office just to make sure you're doing things within the work parameters of HR friendly. And if you want to get promoted, you're playing the corporate game. And then you put that down, you drive back home and it's six o'clock or seven o'clock. So you've spent ar arguably 12 hours in a work day. You may not physically be at work all 12 hours, but between getting ready, getting your mind right, commuting, et cetera, you spent a good amount of time um, in that work day. And if you are remote, for all you people who swear y'all love remote, I am anti-remote work now. I like work. I will work remotely as a part of a team that does physical in-person business because I'm in sales. I'm in outside sales. I'm always talking to people, traveling, meeting people, et cetera. But if I was just working in an office setting, office environment, I don't think I could do remote anymore. And let me tell you why. When you are at home, you put way more hours into that job than you think you do. You're sitting there watching TV. Even if you had a whole work day today, a whole long work day, you see that laptop and you know there's a, you hear that ping, ping, ping. You hear that Teams message. You hear the Microsoft Outlook sound. And you go over there and answer them because your idea is you can get ahead for tomorrow. Or you can just answer these emails because, oh, it may be my boss or it may be something else, right? and you answer them. You put in way more hours than you think you do when you work remote. So all these people who like are snobby about, I won't go into the office. Y'all, if, if, if the people who are working in person are putting in 12 hours total, I say easily the people working remotely are putting in 12, 13, 14, 15 hours because it's always in their mind. Their, their home has now become their office. So they're always thinking about work. And this was me, like during the pandemic, I just always thought about work during, 2022, 2023, I always thought about work. Like the bedroom became my office. And so even when I'm on the bed watching TV, I'm just like, oh, let me check my email. Even though emails are coming through, even if I'm off and on vacation, it's crazy that you're off and on vacation, but you want to check your emails. Um, But I'm going on a tangent here. But like I said, YouTube is for, it's for the everyday man and woman. And you should definitely start a channel and really just get out of your head. It's a mindset thing. It's okay to have no views. It's okay to have one view. It's okay to have three views. It's okay to see a topic that's interesting to you, think piece it on camera, and send it to your friends and let them respond. Just like y'all do these memes or these posts from other people you don't know. You feel me? Like, it's okay to, to have your own thoughts and then get responses to that. You don't have to take somebody else's meme or somebody else's post and then send it to somebody and get a response. Do it yourself and then send it to somebody and get a response. I think that's a great way for conversation. So I say start a YouTube channel regardless of views, zero views, worry about zero views and be excited about that and then pass it to your friends and start your own conversation that way. I think that's the best way you should do it. I think that um, unless you really want to say, hey, I want to start a channel and build an audience, right? But outside of that, just start a channel. Get your voice back. Be brave. Start being brave again. Everybody's so private, but on social media. We have to stop this voyeurism movement that was created and start being active again. There's not just one or 40 or 50 voices. You know, like one person says, yes, queen. Now everybody says, yes, queen. One person says, oh, we ate or whatever the hell that means. And now everybody's talking about we ate. And another person does a dance on video. And now... <laughs> All of y'all mofos are doing that dance. Whatever the dance is that you're thinking about in your head, that's the dance I'm talking about. So stop it. Don't stop it, but participate in more ways. Don't just don't just like be a bystander um, or a spectator. Get in the game. You're already on social media. Be social. Be social. That's my that's my thoughts for today. Um, yeah, I'm just encouraging everybody because I feel good. I'm at 400 followers. I never would have thought I would be somebody that somebody would listen to. I know I talk a lot because I'm in sales, but I never thought somebody would want to hear this nonsense that I say, but I'm happy that they do. It feels good. Uh, but also, I'm just happy to have my voice back. I'm Because even with being in sales, I was so scripted on saying the right thing and saying the suave thing or the smart thing or the convincing thing. Very disconnected from the emotional side of the outcome because you win some, you lose some. Um, but now... I'm really rejuvenated on how to be personable, how to be vulnerable, how to be transparent. And so, yeah, I want to encourage anybody else who's like me to get, get their voice back and be brave. So if you get a bug of thinking about doing something on YouTube, do it and don't worry about the views. I have plenty of things with no views and I leave them up there. And then sometimes I make them unlisted and then I, send them to, I still send them to 
my friends, or I just watch them back by myself. Like I make myself laugh. I think that having your own YouTube channel and being able to access your own thoughts at any random time is <laughs> the greatest thing in the world. So even if you start a YouTube channel and make all them joints unlisted, or you make a private YouTube, I don't know. I think I think you got to start. So I'm a fan of it, and I think you should join in the party. Peace.